So for this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the prohibitory symbol. This happens when your computer cannot find a valid system folder to start up from. So essentially what can happen is like say you're starting up your MacBook, you have the loading bar going off, so boom, you have this weird symbol, kind of looks like a do not enter symbol almost, you know, with like a the weird grayish, you know, thing on, on it. And it can be super frustrating. And essentially what's happening, like I said, in terms of not finding a valid system folder, a good analogy is essentially what's happening is pretend like you go to the mall, you know, you, you park your car in this giant garage, you go and do shopping, whatever, you come back out and you're like, shoot, I can't remember where I parked my car. You know your car is in the garage somewhere, but you can't access it you can't find it essentially that's what's happening when you see this symbol your computer knows that for the most part everything's running okay it knows that your operating system for the most part is running fine so there's not really any big errors so this symbol is a bit bittersweet there's not any big errors you know your computer's running fine but it just doesn't know where to start up from or a valid startup folder so it can't start up at all similarly similarly you know like i said Let's say you're looking for your car in the garage, you know it's there, you know your car is fine, I mean there's nothing wrong with it, you just can't find it, which means you can't go home yet. So that's essentially what's happening with your computer in a very, very simple explanation. Now the good thing I will say this right off the bat is remember that when it comes to any type of situation, there could be a lot of different instances so i do want to stress that sometimes in these kind of situations it might be best to bring it to a care professional but in this video i'm going to show you how to solve it completely on your own now one thing i do want to say in a really good way for the most part 99.9 percent .9 of the time you would not lose any information you're not going to lose anything on your hard drive not to fret i mean i was super nervous the first time i saw the symbol because i've never seen it before it's a bit of a weird situation but here's essentially what you do so first off have your computer powered down the next thing you do is you want to power it up and hold command and r at the same time you may have to hold it for a while command r at the same exact time you know hit start up just wait and all of a sudden you see this kind of interesting box it gives you a bunch of options the first thing you want to do once that appears is go to the disk utility and run that. Essentially what disk utility does, it basically makes sure that everything on your computer is running fine. Now when it comes to this prohibitory symbol, there's a lot of different reasons why this can happen. Whether it's just a random weird glitch that happens, whether it's like say you drop your computer and some weird hardware thing affected your software. It could be, and this is what happened with me actually, I was installing a new update and when I was installing a new update, the update got kind of like, you know, glitched up a little bit. So if you think about it, it's updating, it's putting things in new folders. So then when I tried to restart my computer, my computer had no idea what to do because the update got interrupted, essentially. So this got me a numerous different reason. But essentially, you want to make sure that your computer, at least for the most part, is running fine. And in 99.9% .9 instances, it will be. So just run disk utility. Once it's run and it's all set, you're basically like, okay, you know what? I'm good to go. Uh, I know that it's nothing wrong with my computer in terms of the hardware or anything like that. The next thing you want to do is basically reinstall Mac OS. What this is going to do essentially is clean out your operating system, you know, in terms of the, the software behind it, the kind of the inner workings, and then reinstall it. I promise you this will not delete any of your files in a good way. So it's not going to wipe your hard drive. It's not going to do anything like that. Essentially, what it's doing is it's going to take down, for the most part, all the different things and basically reinstall the operating system. Because remember, when you do get the prohibitory symbol, it can't find a valid system folder to start up from. Similarly, you can't find your car in a parking garage. So what it has to do in kind of a weird sort of way is say, you know what, we can't find the right folder. We can't. We know the operating system is there. We know it works. We just don't know where to start up from. We're just going to have to reinstall the whole thing. I know it can be a bit frustrating. I mean, for my computer, when this happened to me, I think it took, I'm tr trying to remember the exact amount of time, it maybe took like 45 minutes in terms of, you know, downloading the new operating system, reinstalling it, going through the whole process.